Hey guys, welcome to my channel, All Things Garage Band. I'm Jeremy Haas. In this video, I want to talk to you about a free third party plugin by TB Pro Audio called the MV Meter 2. It's a level meter, and a level meter, like a, it's, a, it's got those little hands, and, and it's a peak, peak RMS uh, VU meter. Uh, it's got all those on it. So you can, you know, it, go, it shows you if you're going in the reds, if it's going to digitally distort, or if it's way too quiet. And you definitely want to get one of these and download it and use it in GarageBand, because unfortunately GarageBand doesn't come with a good stock uh, level meter. I'm going to show you how to go and locate it, where to find it, and go on your web browser, and how to download the right one for your type of computer and your operating system, that kind of stuff that will work with yours, and how to install it. And, and from there, I'll have another video showing actually how to use it a little bit more in depth um, because it's it's just it's just old. I'm so glad that I, I, I learned about this and, I, and that I have it now to use the garage man. It's sick. So without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, if you guys want to follow along, um, we're going to go over. You can use any web browser you'd like to use, but um, I'm going to go ahead and start with Safari. It'll probably jump me over to Google. Um, let me uh, we'll type in uh, TB. Pro Audio, and we want the MV Meter 2, as you can see right there. So I'll do the MV Meter 2, baby. There we go, we got that. Good. Now we're going to go down to, I think it, this is the one right here. We're going to go down to download, and we're going to click on that bad boy. Okay, there we go. We're gonna Now we're going to go to um, pro, download products, products. There we go. I see it right there, MV Meter 2. MV meter 2, bam. There it is. Okay, cool. So instead of just downloading real quick, it's going to ask us what, well, yeah, it's going to ask us, it's going to ask us which one we want to download. Now, um, since we're doing GarageBand here, that's a Mac uh, based, an Apple based uh, uh, program. So, and th this is important because I did this wrong the first couple times I did this. Now, if you've got a newer, a 2025, or I, actually just it's any silicone-based uh, new Mac, um, then you're going to want to download this one right here with the GPU, uh, yeah, uh, this guy right here. Um, if you have an older, like Intel-based Mac, um, then you're going to want to download the one with no GPU, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit left-click that and go from there. It's going to download that, and I'm going to show you where to, how to install it, and then um, how to go and look it up in your GarageBand, and then how, how it works, how to use it with your project. It's pretty sick. So, get up, it's all done. Okay, download it. Cool, we're good to go. Awesome, download it. Cool, so let's go find that in Finder. Okay, so once you've got it, got it downloaded here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install that. Click that, double click on that bad boy right there, okay? And uh, we're going to go down, and we're going to hit Continue. Okay, read me. Okay, I've read you. Continue. Okay, license, continue. Okay, and continue software, agree. All right, now we're gonna install that bad boy. And go ahead and type in your, your password. Bam, got it guys. Okay, close. And yes, you can go ahead and move the, this to trash because you're done with that, the, the, that part. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, close down this bad boy. We'll go down and close this bad boy. Bam! I'm gonna shut this down and quit. We don't need Google Open anymore. Okay, cool. So now it's downloaded and installed. So it should be in GarageBand now. So let me uh, go ahead and open up GarageBand real quick here. Bam! Nice. Okay, so now we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and just go to a new project real quick. Actually, I'll keep it on this project. Where are we on? Pour me extended. Okay, cool. Leave it on this so we can I can show you how to use the MV2 meter, okay? Oh, this is driving me nuts. Bam. Okay, drive me nuts. And we're going to go down to, okay, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to go and open up, um, I do want my, uh, plug. actually, I do want to bring that back right there. Okay, cool. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go ahead and just, yeah, I'll keep it on. I'm going to go to Master Track, and um, yeah, I see it. There it is. I got it. Uh, but just in case it's not already there, this is how you find it. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of this real quick by clicking on that. I'm gonna go to no plugin. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and left click on this bad boy. Go down to audio units right here. Go over to Apple. No, go to TB Pro Audio, and there it is. MV two meter. Click on that bad boy. 
and then we left click on that and it'll bring it up like that okay pretty awesome huh there it is there is your mv2 meter all right, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, anything to do with GarageBand on your Mac, your iPad, or iPhone, please check out my channel, All Things GarageBand. I'm Jeremy Haas. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> it is wide open. See you guys.